getting an egress window correct is always important when you're building a tiny house. Hi, I'm Robin Butler with NOAA and like to go over a few things about secondary means of egress. Of course, your primary means of egress is always your front door. But in every sleeping area, there needs to be a secondary means of egress, which can be a door or an egress window. I'd like to talk to you about two different standards and codes that we use when doing a tiny house. The first one is IRC. IRC says that the secondary means of egress needs to be 5.7 square feet total clear opening, 20 inches wide by 24 inches tall in height. In addition, the windowsill to that window needs to be no more than 44 inches. Now we're gonna to go to the RV standard of ANSI 119.5 and NFPA 1192. They have a different size egress window for the secondary means of egress. In ANSI 119.5 and NFPA 1192, they show an egress window 24 inches wide by 17 inches tall. That's a different size than the IRC. However, every sleeping area is required to have a secondary means of egress. And here at NOAA, if you have a loft that's large enough for uh, a bed, then we're asking that you put in a secondary means of egress in the loft. So let's go back and take a look at what those numbers exactly look like. Okay, I'd like to measure a 3050 single hung window, which meets IRC residential egress requirements. Always measure the width first. In here, we have a width, clear opening width, when the screen is out of 32 inches wide. And then the clear opening height is 26 inches. I don't know whether you can see that, but I'm measuring 26 inches in height. Now, the difference between that and the NFPA 1192 and ANSI code, this is a 17 by 24 inch rectangle. And of course, in the code, they can make it an ellipse. However, I have never seen a tiny house builder make a window that is shaped like an ellipse. They're always rectangular in size. As you can see, the secondary means of egress in NFPA 1192 and ANSI 119.5 is a much smaller opening than the egress window in IRC. So let's look at the actual numbers. So in IRC section 310, you're required to have a 20 inch minimum width. So our 32 inches is plenty wide and 24 inch minimum height. So our 26 inches meets that with two inches to spare. But then we have to meet the 5.7 square feet. So if you multiply 5.7 square feet by 144, which is the number of square inches in a, a foot, you end up with 820 0.8 square inches that is required. And so what I'll do is I'll multiply my uh, 32 by 26 and I end up with 832. So we've that what we need is 820.8 square inches. What we have is 832. So we meet all of the requirements in the code for um, IRC and this windowsill is much less than uh, 44 inches. So we meet all of the requirements there for IRC. Now for NFPA 1192 and ANSI 119.5, we're looking for a 24 inch wide by 17 inch high ellipse. So if you multiply 24 by 17, you get 408 square inches. And if you use the formula for an ellipse that is 24 by 17, which is half the um, width by times half the height times pi, you get 320 square inches in an ellipse 
that's 24 by 17. So as you can see, it's much smaller in NFBA 1192 and ANSI 119.5 for uh, your secondary means of egress. So let's take a look at one more place. I, I, I've already told you uh, 3050 single hung uh, window meets those requirements of the IRC, but where can we get a window that will meet the requirements of the ANSI 119.5? All right, well, let's look at one of our favorite stores, which is Home Depot. And here you can find a 35 and a half inch by 23 and a half inch awning window that will meet the requirements of uh, your secondary means of egress. So make sure that when it opens up, it has the clear opening of 24 wide by 17 tall, but for $241, you can get a window that's only 23 and a half inches tall, and that will fit into most lofts. So that's our uh, discussion on egress windows. Obviously, if you have any questions, you can certainly, um, if you're a member, you can certainly set up a free consultation with us. But I hope this has helped you in determining the difference between the NFPA 1192 and ANSI in the RV side and IRC in the home building side. Many people are building um, to the IRC code now, so you would have to have that larger window. And in Appendix Q, it shows how you can get that same requirements of IRC done in a skylight. So you might want to check that out also. Anyway, this is Robin, and thank you for listening.